I just wanted to introduce y'all to Ralph Ice, also another one of my fellow Appalachian State grads. So, and he even carried the theme all the way through his campaign with the black and gold. So we're looking good. But uh, anyhow, I just want to introduce Ralph to you and let you guys. Uh, I'm going to give Ralph just a minute to speak, and then he'll work the room too, as, as far as that goes. I don't mean to interrupt any ongoing conversations, but if you can give Ralph attention for just a minute, ladies and gentlemen, Ralph Ice. Thank y'all very much. Uh, thing we're starting to hear is a common theme in all these races you're hearing. Uh, when you're running against desperate individuals, they seem willing to say anything. And Joe Sam Queen is definitely following in the mold that he's Shuler setting. Um, I know a lot of you have seen my TV ads. I go into specifics, but I'll be clear, he's lied about my record as mayor. He lies about my stance on issues. He's running a mail piece came out that I received today with the child crying on the steps of the school. Their school lunch money's been taken with me standing behind them holding the money and that I'm taking money from school children to give it to private schools. God, that's priceless. <laughs> and, you know, because, he's, because what I've said in the past is that I support removing the cap on charter schools. And if your child is attending a school that's failed performance measures and others for three straight years, you need another option. And so he's coming out that I'm stealing the money from children. I tell you, when you hear people getting desperate, when Democrats are getting desperate, on the national level, they start talking about seniors and how you're going to hurt Social Securities and seniors. On the state level, when the Democrats are desperate, they're talking about public schools and teachers. It's their last-ditch effort. We're coming out with some responses that you'll see, uh, but I will tell you, if you go to YouTube or Facebook, our debate is up there now. Uh, I will clearly say I think that debate speaks for itself, and the people who have been here will tell you that, uh, who attended. Uh, but, you know, we're responding, but it's getting time. Election starts Thursday. Early voting begins Thursday morning. This race is getting out of the candidates' hands. There's no longer time that more signs fix the problem. It's no longer time that greater and better TV ads fix the problem. This is the time that you fix the problem. This is the time where we need you to be calling your friends, talking to your neighbors, getting them to early vote, taking them to early voting. We can make TV ads all we want and respond to the issues, but we're running for office. Most of us have a strong distrust of anybody running for office that gets on TV, but they'll hear from you. They'll hear from you because they know you and they have a relationship with you. That's what we're trying to build as candidates. But it's time. In 2006 and 2008, ask yourself the question, what did you do in those elections? And I will tell you in both, the result is we lost those elections. It's time now that we all do more than we've done in four years. Because we are going to make changes in this state. We are going to break a bureaucracy in state government that has existed for 130 years. One party has had control of this state. The state senate alone, it has been 113 years since any other party other than the Democrats have held a majority. And I don't need to talk too much about how much the Democrats have held here in Madison County and how long they've held it for. Look over there and see the tactics they've used to hold it in this county. But 2010, we can change it. We can break the cycle. We've got the momentum. We've got the tide going with us. We need the workers. Come to this headquarters. Make the calls. Walk the neighborhoods. Because that's what we have to do to take this state, this county, and this nation back. I thank you all again for this opportunity. I thank you for the last year being able to work with this party here. Make the relationships I've made. Meet the people I've met. I'm not trying to attack school children or take away people's lunch money. Anything you see, mark it to the reality of what you're seeing. When they claim that the other side of it, they're, the state side, they're coming out and telling you what a wonderful job they did in the state legislature. At the Lake Junaluska debate I had last week, Joe Sam Queen up the ante again. He'd been saying to this point he cut the state budget by $3 billion. Now his new number is $5 billion that he cut from the state budget. Well, the problem is the actual numbers went up over the last two years. But if you take what he wanted to spend 
And what he actually spent, I'm still saying that $5 billion is probably a low number. But he also counts all federal stimulus money as a cut because the state didn't have to pay it. The federal government paid it for him. Let's be clear. This is the government we have to break. And if we break it now in 2010, in 2012, we retake the governorship in this state and we retake the presidency of this nation. I thank you again. And I